Tonight, remembering a hero. Navy Corpsman Maxton Soviak came home to his family today, weeks after he was killed, helping evacuate Americans in Afghanistan. Lydia Esparo was at the procession in his honor. The plane landed early at Cleveland Hopkins. From there, it was a slow procession passing through the communities where 22-year-old Max Soviak once lived. To be that young and have this happen and the way it happened, it just doesn't seem right. Soviak was killed in Afghanistan with 12 other service members on August 26th. But on Wednesday, he came home. Kayla Burnsworth knew him. I don't think there's any words for it, honestly. To, to see it. And as the procession turns from Main Street onto South Street, you can see hundreds of people lined up here just to pay their respects to the Navy corpsman. I think I would realize how the family um, feels, the pride, the anguish and everything. They continued on to the funeral home. His family lives right across the street. Perhaps 13-year-old Grant Fathom could sum up the very somber day. I'm happy to be here and support him. It's kind of sad, though, too. Yes, it's kind of sad. But for Grant, he wants to be in the Navy and follow his hero's footsteps. He still died to protect us. Would you do the same thing? Yeah. That was Lydia Espara reporting.